Guess what, the friends? In this video, I'm gonna share five signs that your diet sucks and you need to ditch it. Number one. You're starving all the time. It's normal to be a bit hungry when you're in a calorie deficit because you are eating less than you're used to. But when I mean starving, I mean you're so hungry to the point where it's affecting your functioning on a daily basis. So for example, I've lost 130 pounds and kept it off for eight years. Before I found what worked, I was following diets where my calories were very low. And there was a point where I was eating about a thousand calories a day, which was way too low for my activity level. And I was so hungry that it was physically causing me like I was, I was feeling dizzy and nauseous and I would be up all night. I couldn't sleep. All I could do was focus on when I was going to eat next because I was so hungry. And then I would do it for a little while and then finally I would just cave in. And as soon as I started to allow myself to eat more than the thousand calories, the hunger alongside of the dopamine, which is like your feel good hormones, those combined, I couldn't stop eating. So what I had to realize is you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, but not such a drastic calorie deficit that you can't function. And so I added more calories in and I found a, you know, a calorie count for me right now, it's about 1850. I found one that I could eat within where I'm not starving all the time, but it still allows me to lose weight. So if you're feeling like, oh my gosh, like, I'm on this diet and I can't do anything but think about food and how hungry I am, maybe rethink that because a calorie deficit means you need to eat less, not crazy less. Like how I started and like Sassy, my husband, we both lost the same amount of weight and kept it off for the same amount of time. We started with just a little bit less. And what I mean is literally a little. We used to eat a bag of chips every night for a snack. And so instead of the bag, we would split it. So half a bag. So just that, just a little bit, you know, a, a little less creamer in your coffee or one less slice of bread. If you eat three in the morning, have two, just a little bit less, 50 cows less. And then you can build on that, you know, because you will hit a plateau that is normal, but a little bit at a time, it gives you also somewhere to go. If you start at only eating a thousand calories and you hit a plateau, you can't really go anymore if you're hungry all the time. Number two kind of relates to number one, you can't stop overeating. And what I mean by overeating, it's a seven letter word, starts with a B, ends in a G, but YouTube doesn't like when I say the real word. So I'm gonna call it all heck breaks loose. What happened, like I said, when I was under eating or not having a balance nutrient wise, I was feeling deprived all the time and I would take out all things that I enjoyed. I was feeling so deprived and so hungry that like I said, once I started eating, I could not stop. And it was happening, you know, all day I would kind of be good and then as dinner approached and after dinner, all heck would break loose and all night was spent overeating and eating and eating and eating and I just couldn't stop. And I finally realized, wait a minute, there are things that I'm doing like I was skipping meals, which was really making me hungry because by the end of the day, like I hadn't eaten much. And so that combined with denial and not eating proper nutrients for my body, it was all sort of pooling together and creating this massive cycle where I would diet all day and then I just couldn't stop eating at night. And I realized maybe you're depriving yourself too much. Maybe you need to look at eating more frequent smaller meals throughout the day. And so I started doing breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks and spreading it two to four hours apart so that I was never really over hungry. And I also included a wide range of nutrients, a balance of all foods. I kept everything in. And um, that really started helping me feel more satiated and less hungry. So if you're feeling this, if you're going to this one, check, maybe look at that and go, am I missing something? Is there something I'm doing that's causing this to happen? Or is like, is my diet 
balanced for me, like what works for you. Number three, your diet requires you to move to remove whole food groups. So I've done every diet under the sun. Most of the diets that I did until I found the one that works, which is everything in balance, required me to remove a food group. Usually it was carbs. And any time that I removed a food group, usually I would remove carbs and all treats. And always it would end in rebellion, in me being okay for a while, but then because I denied myself, I would eventually cave in, I'd eat them, then I'd feel guilty, and I also struggled with emotional eating. So then it would trigger my emotional eating and I would go in this never ending cycle where my diet never actually helped me lose weight. I actually gained weight because I wasn't eating, again, a proper balance. I was taking out food groups. And it's not sustainable. A normal life and, and a typical person is going to come in contact with carbs and want to eat them or whatever food group you're taking away. It's normal to crave treats or to want to have a balanced diet where you eat, you know, whatever it is that you're feeling that day. Certain foods don't cause you to gain weight. And this was kind of like a misconception that I carried pretty much the whole time when I was struggling with losing weight. I always thought it was the bread making me gain weight or the fast food I was eating or the cookies I was eating. Then I learned it's not the bread. It's not the McDonald's. It's not the chocolate cake. It's eating too much of something. When you're eating in a calorie surplus, that's when you gain weight. You can eat anything that you enjoy. If you love bread like me, if you love cookies like me, you can eat those. You just have to eat less of them. You have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight. If I ate too much celery or salad, I would gain weight. So you just, you need to eat a little bit less. That's it would what be it, incredibly hard to eat. Yes. Um, all celery in a calorie surplus because it's so fibrous and whatever. But yes, the, but it the, proves the, the point. principle is there. Yeah. I want to give a checklist to the friends too. Mm -hmm. How to know that you live in a clown world. Okay. On certain platforms that mm -hmm. start with a Y that we're not allowed to say, mm -hmm. they allow you to do the five letter B word eating, mm -hmm. but you can't help people fix the five word B letter eating, if you want to help them. You can only do it on camera. Yes. Yeah, it, that's so funny. Like, we want to try to help people because like, we call it emotional eating because you can't say that word. Um, and- You can only do the physical activity of the B word. Yeah, but you can't help people not do it. So <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> yep. Honk, honk, you just honk your nose in the clown world. Meet me. <laughs> <laughs> Number four. You hate what you're eating. I can't tell you how many foods I forced myself to eat on multiple diets. I ate plain tuna from a can. I love tuna, but I like to put stuff in it. But I thought that I had to not like what I ate. I thought that's what you're supposed to do, that I have to eat everything plain. I was eating plain white fish, no salt, no pepper, no seasoning. I was eating plain tuna, um, just eating baby spinach with nothing on it. And maybe you're, somebody likes that, but I didn't. And I was making myself eat it. And every day I was dreading eating my food. And all that did was make me want all the food I said was off limits more. And again, we get into that word that we can't say, all heck would break loose because I was denying myself things that I liked. Then I realized, okay, I don't like what I'm eating and I can't sustain this. This has to be something that I can do for a long time because I was 275 pounds and my weight was causing me serious health issues. I had sleep apnea so bad, I was stopping breathing seven times a night. And I knew if I kept staying at that weight, I would be putting my life at risk. So I was like, okay, I have to like this. I have to do things that don't make me hate my food. And I started eating things I enjoyed and portioning them out by using the serving sizes on the backs of packages as a guide. That allowed me to eat a balance of food, leave treats in, and really enjoy what I was doing. And Kyle did the same thing because he struggled with the same things that I did. And he was 375 pounds at the start of his journey. Well, yeah, I wanna make it clear, we don't have anything against any diet. Like it's no. cool, but like Nicole said, 
like we don't have anything against keto, carnivore, whatever you're doing now. If you don't like certain foods that you're thinking you have to eat to lose weight, you don't you have to do that. And if you exactly. think you have to remove certain foods that you actually enjoy to lose weight, you don't have to. Yeah, and that's a good point. Like if you're somebody who's watching this and you're really enjoying what you're doing and it's working for you, that's really great. Stick to it because what I also wanted to say in this video is that like a good diet is one that you can stick to. So if it's working, that's great. But what this is basically is like a checklist for people who really are struggling with losing weight and can't figure it out. And they're not enjoying what they're eating. No, and they're removing things that they like to eat and they're taking them out of their diet and they're, it's causing a rebellion. So that, if you're struggling, this is for you to maybe look at things and go, okay, there's a better way to do it. And if you guys want to know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, exact portions, meals, etc., check out my weight loss eBooks. The links are down below. Use code Nicole to save yourself 10%. And I also have HTLT SEPs. They have amazing supplements. I am sponsored by them. Um, use code Nicole to save yourself 10% off. They have fruit cereal protein and it is so good. Like I'm a cereal girl and they have luckier marshmallow too. And those are Amazing. So code Nicole, save yourself 10%. Number five, your diet feels like a punishment. I did this. This is the whole reason why Kyle and I started this channel because I thought that diets meant it's like a punishment that you be miserable all the time. If you're doing a diet right now and you're miserable and you really dread doing it and you just want to get the weight off so that you can stop doing this diet that makes you so miserable and dread life all the time, then that's probably a sign along with all the other ones that I've shared in this video that maybe there's a better diet for you. Maybe this one isn't working and that's also why I'm making this video because I did countless diets trying to lose weight. I struggled with weight and emotional eating my entire life. And many of the diets I followed, I was miserable on them all the time until I found portion control and it literally saved my life because I could like what I was eating, but just less of them by using portions. Um, I was miserable and I thought I needed to be miserable. I thought that's what weight loss is. But then I, I learned and that's why I was able to lose the weight and keep it off for so long. I learned you're supposed to enjoy it. If it's not fun, you're not getting it done. You're allowed to have fun and lose weight. You're allowed to enjoy your life, enjoy your food, live a normal life. Just, um, you know, you might have to eat a little bit less. You don't have to take away things that you don't like, that you want to eat. Don't take away foods you don't like. You don't have to make yourself eat foods that you don't like. Yeah, that goes for exercise too. It doesn't have to hurt your body. It can be gentle and enjoyable for you. Yes, the key is the diet. If your diet's on point, you can choose an exercise that complements it. Like we found walking was the most gentle, easiest, sustainable thing for us to do, but it was the diet we had to get on point less. Once we started eating less, but what we enjoyed with portion control, then we added 15 minutes of walking a day to, at the start. Now we do, you know, an hour, six days a week, but we built up to that. You can do, you know, slow and steady wins the race. It's a little at a time. So yes, if you're doing something that you don't enjoy, if you've checked any of these things off on the list as I've said, said them and talked about them to you, maybe look at it because you can make this more fun. And I love you guys, Sassy and I love you. And that's what this is about. We are two regular people that lost the weight and kept it off by eating regular food that we enjoyed, just less of it. It doesn't have to be as hard as you might be making it or as complicated as you might be making it. And we only know that because we did that for many, many years. So we love you, hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep getting all these cool vids, you don't miss it. And watch this vid and this vid for more fun weight loss tips so you can just do this and have fun all day and just oh, love life. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Okay, cuter roomies. Peace it. <laughs> See ya. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. <laughs>